Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the original Unreal Tournament from 1999, also known as UT99. And then I'll set it up in just a few seconds and then join an online game. OK, let's begin. First off, go to Old Unreal's website and download the zip file. It's an installer for the game. The link is in the description. Once it's unzipped, run the file. Click Next, I agree, and then choose the components you want to install. You can just leave it as it is. It does mention UMODs, but don't expect those to work properly. UMODs are an easy way to install modifications for the game, but it doesn't work in my case. But it might work in your case. An easy way to know if it works or not is whenever you install a UMOD and it says its product name is local product, then it won't work right. It'll install, but you'll only be able to uninstall it manually. I recommend using the default installation folder because some mods and map editing tools only work with short, simple folder paths. But hey, it's up to you. Now, the installer will start downloading the game from internetarchive.org. And while that's happening, listen to this. Back in mid-November 2024, I saw some news. An Epic Games spokesperson jumped into the community Discord and said officially that it's totally fine to download the original Unreal games and use fan-made patches to run them on modern PCs. PC Gamer followed up to verify it, and yep, Epic confirmed it. The exact words were, We can confirm that Unreal 1 and Unreal Tournament are available on archive.org, and people are free to independently link to and play these versions. I've left a link to that article in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. I will speed up the installation process and go to the game setup part. Now, launch the game and choose a video renderer. I'll choose the Direct3D11 renderer. Then raw input and next, and then run. Press escape to skip the intro. Go to option and show desktop to have the familiar background show. Then go to options, preferences, and choose the resolution that fits your monitor best. And I prefer to have the window mode as borderless and then simply go through the different tabs and set the game up as you like it. Then go to Options and Player Setup and give yourself a gamer tag and choose your character. As you see, this build of UT99 has Bonus Pack 4 included, but it does not have its fixes. If you want the fixes, I show you where to get them and how to install them in this video. You use Demo Manager to record your games. It looks like it saves its recordings in your Unreal Tournament system folder. You can change that if you like. I will at another time. Let's go to the multiplayer, find internet games and have a look. Here you will find links for skins, HD textures, maps and add-ons. If you would like to know what I will recommend you to install, then take a look at this video where I go through the whole process. Although in that video I download the 2K textures, today I would recommend the 4K textures as they recently got an update and you can skip the DirectX 11 render install part, as it will overwrite the one in this build you already have installed, unless you prefer lots of reflections, as it will add that. And if you would like to add shaders to the game, follow the shader installation guide from this video. A link for both videos should appear at the end of this video. That's it. The game is ready to be played online and offline.
Let's find a server and join a game. Good luck, warrior. Three, two, one, fight. For some reason, I can't dodge. That feels so strange. I'll find another server. Let's take this one. While downloading, I'll just double check my dodge settings. They seem fine. Like everyone else, you want to learn the way to win but never to accept the way to lose. So when tomorrow comes, you must free your ambitious mind and learn the art of dying. My controls feel strange. I can dodge, but I should probably have spent some more time on my controls and tested it in a single player mode before joining an online game. But this is a fine example to show you. That there actually are real players playing the game online. They are not bots. Well, that was it for this time. Now you know all you need to know to get started with the game. Have a good game.